Hi guys, Blake Hernandez here, and I have my my personal dog, Cusco. And he was supposed to show this weekend, and we had a judge change, and politics weren't going to be great. Politics are never good. So we decided that we would still get him all purdied up for everybody to share. Uh, so this is exactly how I'd want to trim up my puppy um, before I would go into spraying up the dog. So you can see his top line is nice and level. So, see, got a nice little tail, a little angulation there in the back. And this, he's all scissored up. So with puppies this age, you don't necessarily spray them up, um, but I like to do puppies because it's easy and you can do small spray ups like this on your client dogs for special days. We've all done dogs for the wedding. We've all done dogs for Christmas photos. If they have a banded top knot, then we can do a little spray up like this. So when the dog is washed, but not quite dried yet, I use the Iger Magic Boost scissoring spray. I put it all on the legs, just so it gives us like a nice base uh, and some more texture. And it's easier for you to use other products on top of it. And then I use the Eye Groom Boost It Texture Spray when the dog has been hot dried to again, just give a little bit more texture because puppies are hard to do. So now we can go ahead and start on the spray up. And when they're getting sprayed up, you can come around here now, Bobby. You can get them to lay down. It's nice if you can lay down. And if they won't, they won't, that's fine. You want to stand up all tall and proud by my knee. Okay. So you'll notice from one eye corner to the other eye corner, I have the dog banded. So there's just a single band. And then directly behind that, I have another band. He's so young, they don't need to be connected and I don't need to do any more. So all you do, well, because he's a puppy, I actually like the ears and every, everything is a part of the, the whole image. But when they're adults, you would vet wrap the ears before you start so that they're like this and they're all covered up. And then you spray up so that the ears are separate from the rest of the spray up. Does that make sense? So I take my hand and I cup it into a U and I cover their eyes and I give it a spray in the front. This is the eye style hairspray, which is nice because it's very combable, like you can really work it. And then I like the Element 29 combs when I'm using hairspray because the, the material that it's made up of doesn't allow for the hairspray to really stick. And I just separated just a little line of hair, see, and I bring it forward to touch the other line of hair. And it's just this tedious work, see, spraying the hairspray down at the base. Now the eyes are nice and covered. Okay. But see, now we have this plane and all this other stuff that we haven't sprayed. If you spray this hair here, your comb gets stickier faster, and I feel that it, it doesn't build forward as good. So I like to spray the back of this one and then use this clean hair and just stick it to the hairspray. If it doesn't stick to the hairspray, then it doesn't belong yet. Because you want all the hair standing up on end. Do you have any questions, Bobby? No. Down at the, I'm doing it right down at the crack and then the back of the front portion. And then just taking a layer of hair and peeling it down. If it doesn't stick, it doesn't belong. And just take back that, that layer of hair. When the spray ups are this small, it's very easy to do this on any hair type. So you can spray up like Shih Tzu hair and your hair is a little bit harder, but like Shih Tzu hair and, and other mixed breeds are easy to spray up when they're this small. All I do is I use just maybe a little bit less product, but the eye style, I will leave in this dog for like at least a few days. It's not the type of hairspray that's gonna cause damage. 
So I brought that big chunk forward, but a whole bunch of it, see, it doesn't stick to the hairspray. And so then it doesn't belong. And it's just kind of trial and error. But now you can see you have this whole area right here. So what I'll do again is I'll cover these eyes and spray the front so I can start to use the back of my hand, see, to frame the dog's face. See how it's starting to frame it? So we're just building up behind that. Any questions? No. So I usually always have a, usually always, I try to always have a backup comb right by me when I'm spraying up because even though these Aussie dog combs are good about not getting a hairspray buildup, they still will over time. And if you don't have a bunch of combs, which I recommend, you can always have a person. And that person can run and go wipe off your comb while you switch to another one. But some way, somehow, you can't have, if it's, if there's hair building up along the teeth and it's all sticky, then you won't be able to actually get into the hair to do what you need to. So I'm gonna switch combs just for the sake of switching combs. Okay. So again, down the crease and then the back of the front. And pull it forward. That's what hairspray you're using. This is the iGroom Eye Style, which is a very malleable, brushable, combable type hairspray. When I'm done with the image that I want to build, I will use a like more of a freezing type hairspray to lock the image into place. Right now I'm more just building up. So all that hair came forward, but not all of it will stay. Just whatever sticks to the hairspray. But you can see how nice and full that's getting now. Okay. All right. Sometimes dogs can be scared of the hairspray sound. You can always condition dogs uh, when they're young you know, get like a little applesauce pop and spray the aerosol somewhere else so they hear that noise and just give them a little bit of that applesauce treat just to condition them to let them know that they're not going to get hurt and as long as you cover up those eyes, they'll be good. So on a puppy, this is actually where I'll stop. A six month old puppy is basically right here, you can see where the ear attaches to the head, ear, ear. So there's like this line right here. This is where you'd put like their show collar. And, uh, and so because it's a puppy, I'm gonna leave it right there. And again, it is also similar to what I would do on a pet. I wouldn't spray up their whole, their whole back. So now that I've done all that, you now do it like in reverse. So I take that last layer and I build it backwards a little. This is so that your spray up doesn't just like flatten all the way up to the back of the head. It does more of a, it builds out the crest a little bit more. So I'm just, you can't go in as deep because it's already tacked together down at that seam that you had before. But anywhere you can, get in there and build backwards. Okay, again, I'm gonna cover up his eyes. I want to get this all framed. Okay. So now you want to make sure that your, your spray up has some, some structure to it. And you want to also see, you can see all these like lines where you uh, sprayed it up in lines. So I take this little rat tail comb and I take it to the base and I just pull partially through the spray up to give a little bit more lift and try to connect those little layers. Then I'll come up to the front and do the same thing.
Okay. So now it just has a lot more structure to it because you've ratted down the bottom a little bit. So then I'll take our freezing spray, get all this hair up where you're gonna want it over that show, cho show choke. Okay. And I'm gonna spray from the back so I don't get hairspray in the eyes. And then just, you can use the back, I use the back of my arm most of the time. But you just wanna smooth out that, that hairspray and then just connect it. Now I know this is a fancier haircut and we don't do many of them, if at all, in our shop. Stop it, Cusco. But if you enjoyed the video, we have all sorts of demos like this on groomsource.com with industry leaders from all over, all different topics, full grooms, focus lessons, live Q&As. Come check it out. Thank you.